Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys really quick what I got from the 99th cent only store. Um, I have been definitely sleeping on the 99th cent only store when it comes to produce and fresh food. Um, I think the reason why is because the 99th cent only store that I frequent when I look at their produce section, everything just looks very brown and old and about to expire. However, um, because of Maddie's school, she goes to a different part of town to go to school. And so I'm starting to go into this particular 99 cent store now. And I went in there just for bread to see, let me see if they have bread and they had bread and they had a whole bunch of other things. So I've been frequent, frequently in there for about three weeks now. And I just thought, you know what? I have to share with you guys because I feel like if I was missing out, maybe you guys have been missing out too. And you need to like definitely check your 99 cent only stores. Don't just check the one in your area. Maybe check like several of them. Okay. So let's get started. <clears throat> so the first thing I end up picking up and this is my second week of buying this is the red diced onion or the red onion dice the way how they have it written here now this is definitely you can see it's chopped up onions I've used that in my salads and then some cooking last week and I mean the only downfall is it is a lot of onion and I haven't been able to use it quickly so that's kind of the downfall but hey these normally go for like two plus dollars in the regular grocery stores so I'm excited to get that for a dollar and I know in like my previous videos I said we are not eating more top ramen but it has been a while since we've eaten it and these were five for a dollar so I just figured you know what you know you, you kind of have to you know give in every once in a while to yourselves you know what I mean I know Mike likes it so hey it's okay to have every once in a while so those were five for a dollar i got the english muffins you get six in here which i felt like that was a great deal um awesome awesome deal these are like these are some really good deals here so i got 12 ounces of blackberries for a dollar 99 so that was a dollar 99 and the dole raspberries were a dollar normally these raspberries the cheapest i can find raspberries blackberries or even blueberries sometimes are 250 blueberries i can kind of get sometimes for like a dollar at the grocery store but for the most part these two are normally 250 if they're in this size container so awesome deal this four heads of lettuce here love it's kind of like a butter mix um, a butter style lettuce they sell this at Audi for I think either a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine I got it for a dollar so I was so excited to get this lettuce and it's good and it it actually lasts for a while in your fridge next I end up getting these tomatoes you get five for a dollar I got this um, frozen berry blend with the bananas um, a dollar the bananas I think were 49 cents a pound this is to be used for my smoothies a hundred percent whole wheat bread now you know how sometimes they say oh it's whole wheat but it's really not no it shows right here on the label whole wheat flour yes so I normally get my bread from Audi that's the cheapest place I've been buying bread for a dollar 49 I got it for a dollar now so I think 99 cent only store please keep coming through with the bread classic Alfredo for a dollar and then this was another great find my portobello caps I was so excited to find these that's why I ended up getting three I probably would have got more but I was like don't be greedy <laughs> try not to be greedy so this one came um, with three the other ones came with two and I don't see an expiration date on these. That was part of the reason why I didn't, um, why I ended up not buying more. It has like a code right there, like GC427. I don't know what that means. But I wasn't able to find an expiration date. But they, they look really fresh. 
and they had regular sized portobello mushrooms too like you know the the smaller ones but yeah so this is it um all of this came out to $15.22 I did have two bags of small chips that were 39 cents a piece that me and Maddie had already ate like I ate one she ate one so that's not shown here but yeah, if you guys have not checked out the 99 cent only store for your produce, I so advise it. Check it out. Let me know. Have you guys bought stuff there? What do you think? Like I said previously, the store I normally go to, their produce was terrible. So I never even like go back there to look anymore to see what they have because I just skipped that section altogether. But this new store that I go to, I mean, well, it's new to me because I don't frequent that area that often. Love it, love it, love it. Um, Yeah. So just let me know, like, what are some of your favorite things to buy? Have you found other name brand things? Like, like the Dole is actually really good. I'm so excited for that. And the Portobello mushrooms. I'm so, I feel like I'm saying so a whole lot in this video but I'm really excited to actually eat this as a burger um, for those of you who don't know we are trying to do 21 days no meat challenge this month for October so <laughs> I've been wanting to go vegan you know definitely try vegetarian vegetarianism again the whole vegan thing I think is going to be a little more difficult because I'm like, if I don't eat eggs in the morning, I don't know what else I'm going to have for breakfast. Like I'm already struggling with breakfast. That's why I got my English muffins over there, which I'm trying to eliminate carbs as well. So that doesn't help. <laughs> but yeah, so let me know. What's your thoughts? Um, do you like shopping there? Do you advise it? Now, I really do feel like everything that I got, even though it was $15, I still feel like I came out like with a really great deal. I feel like if I bought this in a regular grocery store, I probably would have walked out spending about $30. Tell me, what do you think? Do you think I would have spent that much? That big thing of blackberries probably would have been about four dollars I know the cheapest I can get for this would have been 250 the lettuce two to three dollars and the mushrooms itself probably would have ran me about three dollars a piece or more and the prego I think these are normally like they're over a dollar in the grocery stores so yeah definitely say so check it out y'all let me know in the comments below if you sh if you shop there at the 99 cent store for some of your basics and if so like what Okay, so I will catch you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye. For some reason, I don't know where I put my phone charger in my car, which it is not a good idea to be without your phone, um, especially if you're, you know, a woman and if you're a mom, like we need our phones, ladies. And let me just tell you a quick story while I'm kind of setting this up. Um, we're getting on the freeway, heading home, and it's late at night. It's after 8 o'clock. I had an event to attend. So Maddie's in the car with me. I'm getting on the freeway, and then all of a sudden, I see a guy who's on the freeway. He's getting into my lane. Uh, so like I said, I'm getting onto the freeway, and he's getting over into my lane. Now, this is a merging lane. So I'm like, why is he getting over and he was driving really slow and then he suddenly put his hazard lights on so I'm already seeing this thank you Jesus so I'm slowing down but I didn't realize by the time I got to him he his car was pretty much stopped he was inching to get over to the shoulder okay <sighs> there was a car that was getting on the freeway with me so he was right behind me and I don't know if he seen the car or what, I don't know what was going on, but he got over on the right side of me, which is the shoulder, and barely miss hitting the white car, the, the car that was in front of me trying to get over. So the white car had put his hazard lights on like at the last moment. So I had to do kind of a hard stop because I'm getting on the freeway doing about, I don't know, like 45, 50 miles per hour. Because it's a long on-ramp. It's not like, boom, like right there where the light is and you get on. 
it was like quite a drive to get onto this on-ramp. So I'm picking up speed to get onto the freeway. And, you know, just long story short, I just thank God that I was fully aware. You know how it is. And I think at that moment, Maddie was asking me, oh, her water bottle. She dropped her water bottle and it was on the floor. And she's like, oh, mommy, can you get my water bottle? It's right behind your seat. And I just seen this car and it was one of those things like had, you know, a split second could have went by and I couldn't, you know, I may have not seen this car getting over because I'm like, my mind isn't there, you know, like, oh, okay, her water bottle and I'm trying to reach for it. You know how like, even though we look at stuff, but we're still not 100% aware or present in that moment. So I just thank God that. You know, everything happened the way how it happened. I felt like he placed me there to kind of help protect that car um, that was in front of me trying to get over to the shoulder because the other car, he was really close to hitting him. And I was just like, my heart, my whole body was tense because I just knew the car that was behind me was going to hit him. But he didn't. Thank you, Jesus. But my, my point of this, too, as well is, of course, pay attention be aware all the time, especially while driving. But I don't know where I placed my phone charger for my car. And I was at that point, I was only at 4% battery. So like if something did happen, I, I would have felt so vulnerable and just out there because as soon as I would have tried to call my husband or try to call AAA or the police or, you know, whoever, I like my phone call would have like my phone would have died right in the middle of it. So super important. Have your phone chargers, especially if you're driving, if you're a woman and definitely just be aware. So once again, that's the reason why you're going to see my cord. I'm trying to hold it off to the side. But yes, I know that was a long explanation and you guys are like, I'm here for a grocery haul video, <laughs> but I just have to get that off my chest. So 